Absolutely. Uh, yes. Uh, obviously attractive people get ahead and I don't necessarily have a problem with it. Like when it comes to modeling and things along those lines, I don't have a problem with it because I mean, it makes sense. Like you said, it's the luck of the draw. It's nothing personal. It's just, you know, the symmetry of your face or, you know, your body type or something along those lines. That now, makes sense feel subjective though. Yeah. yeah now, now what kills me when it comes to this particular topic is how, you know, to, to be frank, how, you know, people that are not so attractive try to shame people that look good because they don't look as attractive as them. That's one thing that get, kind of gets on my nerves. It's like, you say know, that, say that one more time. OK, so don't you know how like uh, have you noticed how same thing goes with, you know, people that are in shape versus people that are overweight, but people that are very attractive versus people that are not that attractive. You know, they try to shame them or just shame society and say, oh, well, it's this unrealistic, you know, standard of looks that is creating this kind of environment for people that are attractive versus people that are not as attractive. Ah, I get you. And you know, like, like the same thing can go for someone that's in shape or somebody that's overweight, but that's the point that I was going to make earlier. So nowadays it seems like being the most gorgeous woman in the room is not as important. It seems like they like being unique is something that they focus on more now when it comes to modeling and things along those lines. Cause you notice how they have women that like have vitiligo that model. They have women that are a little bit heavier. They have, right. you know, plus size models now. And we so, can thank social media, for, social media for all of this. Right, right. And that could be a result of the shaming that I was just talking about, but. Definitely yeah, is. Yeah, like, I mean, that, that's kind of just how I feel about it. I don't I don't really have any feeling. It makes sense to me. I'll say that. No, that's, nah, I will, if I'm piggybacking on what you're saying, I think it definitely is because uh, we in that we in that era now where everybody want to they want to feel special. So even if you right. is unattractive, you want to still feel like you're attractive and you want other people to still feel like you're attractive. But maybe you're not. But there are, like I said, I think attractiveness is subjective. There are things you can do to make yourself more attractive. Like go to the gym, get your fitness up. For women, maybe do your makeup, do your hair, make yourself look more attractive. But uh, for a guy, you know, get your to groom yourself up, make yourself look good, all that kind of stuff. So it's stuff that you can do to make your you can turn you can turn yourself from five to maybe a seven. So yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Do do y'all feel as though that this shift in the winds has evened the playing field? Even, even, the wins, even, no, even hell no, nah, because no, because even, even the playing field between who it made it even between, more unfair right? between attractive people and people who have to rely on skills like because like you said because of social media real shit 